Hi everybody, so today we are going to be baking some Christmas cookies and we're just gonna keep it really traditional this year. We're gonna do our peanut butter blossom cookies, our M&M cookies, some mm -hmm. chocolate chip cookies, because these are all things that Santa absolutely loves. Mm -hmm. And then also we might try a new peanut butter squirrel cake. So we'll see where we get to today. Um, so with that, what do you guys say? Let's, Let's get, get started. started. So what we are going to do is we're going to start with the peanut butter blossom cookies and we are going to mix everything in our kitchen aid so um jasmine and janelle did an amazing job with unwrapping the hershey kisses already so that part is done and over with we've preheated the oven to 375 and that is ready to go so then all we have to do is get all the ingredients. Yep, and we already washed our hands. Yes, good job, Nellie. Good job for calling that out. We've washed our hands and we are ready to go. Hair is pulled back. So let's do this. So we're gonna start with the shortening. So we have a half a cup of shortening. We're gonna pour this right in here. And mommy Pour it, unravel it, I guess, right? And mommy's doing the shortening and the peanut butter. Yeah, so that was a half a cup of shortening, and then we're going to do three-fourths of a cup of Reese's Creamy Peanut Butter. Mmm, my favorite right here. So we're going to pour this in the best that we can, because peanut butter is very sticky um, and hard to measure. If y'all have any, like, tips or tricks on how to measure peanut butter, please share in the comments below, because that would be amazing. I don't know. Maybe someone's got a trick of maybe they do something different. All right, Jazzy, why don't you go ahead? No, no I know, girls. <laughs> go ahead and you gotta stir it. Lock and load it. So you have to make sure that you mix this until very well blended. So you want, the peanut, you want the peanut butter blended with the shortening. That's okay. It'll get in there eventually. And we're gonna even roll it, so it's okay. Do I need to turn it up a little bit? Oh uh, yeah, go ahead and turn it up just a tad. Okay. Go ahead and lift it up. What we'll do is we'll um, kind of mix it a little too. Now once everything else gets blended, you just wanna make sure because um, that shortening, you, you don't really wanna be eating that raw. Okay. Mm. Tasty, tasty in the dummy, dummy. Tasty, tasty in the dummy, dummy. And lock. Okay, keep it going. And load. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a third cup of sugar and brown sugar. So here's your cup, a uh, third cup of sugar. Do I it in? Yep. And a third cup of brown sugar. So go ahead and pour those in. There you go. And then you want to, <laughs> now you want to blend it. <laughs> That's working much better. better. All right. Um, we had to change out one of the items that we were using for mixing. It just was not mixing as well as it should have been. Okay, so Jazzy, you have to mix it until fluffy. <gasps> So we need to add one egg, which is going to be cracked. We need to add two tablespoons of milk. And a teaspoon of vanilla. Pour the milk Yes. No, you can, you can pour the milk in. Go ahead. And then Nellie's can do the egg. And then the vanilla sugar. 
and then the vanilla. And then you've got to mix that together. Until fluffy? Yep, just keep letting it mix. No, you're okay. Here, use this to wipe. Okay. And then what we're going to add in is the flour. So this is a um, one and a half cups of flour. So that needs to be added. Just keep letting it mix and slowly add it in. But make sure you get it in the bowl. Here, we'll, we'll go ahead and stop. Somebody just knocked. It's okay. Okay. Mm, that's okay. <laughs> you got to use your finger to brush it off now. That's why you got to just make sure you get it in the bowl. No problemo. All right. So go ahead and um, pour that in. You're good. That's fantastic. Fine, <laughs> John. Okay. Okay. So let's go ahead and mix that. Here, Jazzy, you can use this to wipe your hands because it looked like you got flour everywhere, huh? And then what we're going to do is we also are going to add in the baking soda and salt. So the last two ingredients. <laughs> so as you can see, see how the, the dough is starting to become a little more thick? Before it was really watery, huh? You guys are probably thinking, what did we do wrong, right? Yeah. <laughs> I got really nervous. So we are going to add a teaspoon. Let me get that out of the way. Like to be honest, it's clearing like the whole bowl. Like there's Yeah, that's exactly that's why I love making these. Ooh, this is a good. teaspoon of baking soda and then a half teaspoon of salt. And by the way baking soda and salt. It smells delicious. Oh yeah, that peanut butter is starting to smell really good, huh? Alright. And then we just go ahead and just keep making that. Um, it's almost done. So I think we're, we're, we're good there. <laughs> it's like starting the whole thing. Is that locked, honey? Yes. Is it locked? Yeah, it's kind of shaking a little, which is strange. Here. All right, so go ahead and stop it. And then what Oops. we're gonna do, all right. So we wanted to just kind of, um, Cook it a little bit more so that way all the batter wasn't going to fall out onto the counter. And shockingly enough, we, we said this last time we baked too. We thought we had so much counter space and then when you actually start to cook in the kitchen and you want your kids to help, you realize you don't have a lot of space. So we're making it work, right? So here we go. So now what we're going to do, we have our batter. I'm just going to show this to you. So here is our uh, peanut butter blossom batter. So now what we're gonna do is the girls are actually going to shape the dough into about one inch balls, and then we're gonna roll it in some sugar and bake for, I think it's- 10 minutes. 10 think. minutes, right? Is that what I said? Yes, 10 to 15. Eight to 10 minutes. So we'll probably put it around eight because our oven has been on for a very long time. Um, so we're gonna do it for about eight minutes, and then we'll put the- they're pretty excited about that chocolate. Okay, so girls, what you want to do is you want to grab the Hershey Kiss by the top and then take it and place it on the cookie, but don't push down too hard because if you do, that's what will happen. <laughs> so you just want to press it down a little and then just move to the next one. You can either unwrap the cookies as the cookies are waiting or what we did is we unwrapped them before we even started to put the ingredients in. All right, and now they got to cool a little and we'll place them on another tray once they're done cooling. Okay, good job on the peanut butter blossom, girls. So the cookies came out. Um, they look fantastic. 
Yeah, um, big chunky ones for Santa. Yeah, the girls <laughs> wanted to make a big one for Santa, so we put two Hershey Kisses on that one. And then we have about a tray and a half of cookies. Um, some of them did break, so those are the ones that we're going to try. And uh, go ahead, girls. Give it a whirl. Mm. They are a little breakable, so make sure you put your napkin close. This is so good. <laughs> the girls did a fantastic job with rolling the dough in order to make the cookies. I have to say that is one thing that I, I don't really enjoy doing. So great job, girls. Um, the Hershey Kisses are like literally melting on the cookie right now because we didn't let it sit too very long. Amazing. Amazing job, girls. So girls, thank you so much for baking those cookies with mommy. It was a lot of fun. And uh, I'm looking forward to doing our next round of cookies. So thank you. And what do you tell everyone? Peace. Merry Christmas! Christmas. Bye! No, no, no. no. kool -Aid. Oh yeah! Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, Merry everybody! Christmas. Happy holidays! Bye! Bye. <laughs>